nobody know the middle. You can't tell it. 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 You can't
which is God's secret place, which is God's place that he wants those that love him to hide. That's why the Lord scripture lets us know the, the where <clears throat> the strong tower is. The righteous run in. The Lord is our strong tower. The righteous run in and there they are safe because we continue to run under his wings where there's protection for us. That's why he continues to let us know in today times a trouble is going on on people left and on the right side. But when trouble is arising, people are not making a decision to turn to the Lord. When you make a decision to turn to anything else but the Lord, you put yourself in deeper in deeper circumstances in deeper situations that to where you may never find yourself out unless you call on the name of the Lord because the Lord is the strong tower and he's here to let you know in my pavilion there's rest in my pavilion there's joy in this pavilion there's peace if you just make a decision to get into his pavilion that's why he lets us know in 27 he says what in time of trouble God shall hide me in this pavilion we gonna have trouble in this life. It ain't nothing that's gonna get away from those that are saved, living for God. Trouble gonna come in this life, but when trouble comes in this life, the Lord is here to let us know that I'm here with you. No matter what's going on, I'm gonna make sure that you're good. I'm gonna make sure that nothing is gonna come near you. No harm is gonna come near you because you're making a decision to come hide into my pavilion where there's safety at, to where there's no safety in the world, there's no protection in the world. God's safety is in him. His presence is with him. His protection is by being un under him, under that umbrella of protection, that covering, is, which is what everyone needs to make sure that they're under. See, also in 20, it says what he will hide us in his secret presence from the pride of men. He will hide us secretly in the pavilion from the strife of tongues. From those that's talking bad about you. Those that continue to say you can't do this and that. All this affliction that's coming upon you. It don't matter. The time of trouble, get under God's pavilion. Call on the name of the Lord. See, these two verses are both worthy of what? More consideration, which is what I'm about to talk about in this. But as we what desire what to hide, he desire God's desire to hide you in his pavilion, which is created by his presence. What? Where he chooses what? His tabernacle so that you are as safe as he is. And again, nothing can bring harm to you. See, because when you talk about in verse 27, it talks about God's tabernacle. Now, when you come to verse 20, it talks about his pavilion. See, this pavilion that God wishes to establish over our life is a pavilion of praise that he wants to, us to let us know. We always should be praising him no matter what's going on because let everything that have breath, breath praise ye the Lord. No matter if you're not saved, you're not living for God, you can praise the Lord for blessing and waking you up on the day. But those that worship God are those who worship him in spirit and in truth. The truth dwells on the inside of them to compel them to continue to worship the Lord. But everyone... Is supposed to praise the Lord. These above verses contain what the words, like I said, tabernacle and presence. The word tabernacle here in verse 27 in verse 5 lets us know it's a Hebrew word that means it's a tent or a dwelling place, which is known for us that if we get under God to where it's God's desire to bring us into his very dwelling place and seek really hide you. That's why he lets us know in Psalms 91 that what he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God and him I trust. Trust comes what? When you make a decision to get under God. When you make a decision to get under the shadow of the almighty to where his umbrella of protection is protecting you because the blood of Jesus is covering you and that's protection for the godly. When you make a decision to come and call on the name of the Lord, he's right there to protect you. Now, if you make a decision to not want to come in his presence and get under his pavilion, he's not protecting you because you're showing him you don't care about him. You're showing him you don't love him. You're showing him you don't need him in your life and that everything that's happening in your life is because you're making it happen. When the Lord is the Lord woke you up this morning and started you on your way, so that's the reason just when he woke you up to tell him thank you. You're not in a hospital bed um, on a ventilator, so you should be telling him thank you. He woke you up and gave you strength in your life 
so, so you should be telling him thank you. You got a roof over your head, so you should be telling him thank you. You got food to eat. You got transportation to drive. You got finances and have a job. You should be telling him thank you for his goodness. That's what it is. When someone does something good for you, you ought to tell them thank you. And the Lord blow, blessed you and woke you up this morning. So that's a reason for you to tell him thank you. When you get in his pavilion, he preserves you. When he preserves you, he gives you perseverance to keep on pressing. That's when you make a decision to get in his will. See, like, like I just said, what? When you get in his pavilion under his protection, he preserves you from those that try to get to you. Now he's giving you perseverance to keep pressing on when you feel you can't, can't press on because his grace is sufficient for thee to let you know I'm here with you. I'm not going to let no, nothing come near you. No harm going to come near you because you came under my pavilion. There's safety under my pavilion. You can rest under my pavilion. Now you casting your cares on me under my pavilion. And I'm going to handle all this for you because you made a decision to give me your life. And he's here to let you know ain't, he ain't going to allow nothing to happen to you. And that's what the Lord, that's why he's so good and he's so great for us. Then... There's the word presence that we get to talking about in Psalms 31 and 20, which God, he wants to hide our very life in the secret of his presence. See, we know in God's presence is joy. In God's presence, there's peace. In God's presence, there's love. You know, that in God's presence, there's an anointing and a feeling you get that you don't get when you're in the world. That only happens when you get in the presence of peace. Not when you get in the presence of confusion. Confusion brings fear in your life. When you get in the presence of peace, it brings faith into your life and lets you know all things are possible to them that believe. This requires what the, you to be in the Lord's presence. What? Yeah, I know it's a concept and it's a fact that God is always present. Yeah, he's omnipresent. He's everywhere at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. He is the Lord what of a right hand, but there's also the concept that what manifests what the presence of God in our lives um, to where um, we know where we are aware of what that his presence is with us. He's always with us each and every day. He told us he would never leave us nor forsake us. So you got to keep that in your mind and continue to remember that. See, this is the place where we will grow to God. In life where we practice what being in his presence to where when you get in his presence, it's a, a good feeling you get to where you love being in it. There's joy in it. There's there's a protection in it to let you know no matter what's going on, you got affliction on the right. You got enemies talking about you. You got haters talking about you. It don't matter. The Lord is letting you know you under my protection. So ain't nothing going to happen to you because I got you. As long as you on the Lord's side, he has you. It is well worth the effort to what develop a lifestyle like this by being under the Lord's presence, because it is in the it's, it, it is in the lifestyle what that you are protected by God's very presence. You are kept in the pavilion of praise. Pavilion of praise is something the Lord wants us to have to where we're thankful in every situation that goes on in our life. When people talking about you. When people coming at you, when things going on in your life, it's still reason to get a Lord praise because he lets us know he works all things out for the good of them that love him. When you love him, you're going to live for him. And when you live for him, you're going to open your mouth and give him praise because it's love and kindness that he continued to show to you today just by giving you life is better than life. So your lips are is going to continue what? To praise him. Off of those lips, you're going to continue to give him glory. Off of them lips, you're going to continue to give him honor for everything that he's doing for you in your life. You may not have everything you want right now, but you're going to continue to praise him for where you at and continue to praise him for where he's going to take you down the line. Which shows how good he is and how great he is because he's letting you know my hands are on your life. And ain't nobody going to be able to pluck you out of my hand because he's connected to you. Both of the above mentioned scriptures that I mentioned what they're dependent basically on the teaching which is known as um in Psalms 22 and 3 which lets us know God inhabits what the praises of his people God looks forward to us he's happy when we praise him and that's why I say no matter what goes on in your life you still got to praise the Lord it don't matter if you having a bad day you still got breath in your body you still got life so that's the reason 
for you to continue to praise him. The enemy coming near your way, that's still a reason for you to praise him. Because when the enemy is coming um, and attacking you, that don't mean that you weak. He, the enemy's attacking you because you got purpose. And when you in God and when you under his pavilion, you got a purpose and God's here to cover and protect that purpose that you got so he can fulfill it through you for his glory. That's why you need to be under his presence in his pavilion. Whenever your times of trouble come in your way, he lets you know you can call on me. You can lean on me and I'm going to be here for you. When we feel what God's love more keenly, we feel it more when we are focused on his will and have devoted ourselves fully to his praise and purpose for our lives. We are instructed to abide in God. When you abide in God, that basically means you living in him. You live and move in him to what worship his name. That's why the word abides and carries what's the such habitation because someone is living there. The Lord lives in you when you are abiding in him. And it lets us know that he's here with us. And that's why when we get over and you translate and go over to Psalms 20 and 21, they're both known as companion Psalms here to where because what? Um, in Psalms 20, what their their prayers about God and the warfare of his people against enemies. Because like I said, when you say you're going to have people that don't like you because you got a standard of living holy. You got a standard that you not let no, no one or nothing let you allow you to bring it down because your mind is focused on the Lord. Because your mind is focused on God's word. Because your mind is worried about staying connected to his word. Because you know in him you got life. Because you abide in him. You habitate in him. And he's giving you the life to live. And when you was in the world, you weren't living. See, a lot of people, they're just, you know, a lot of people in life right now, they breathing. Because God woke you up this morning, but they're not alive. You get alive when you get in his presence. You get alive when you call on the name of the Lord. See there, when you talk about Psalms 20, it's a prayer before the battle. That's the reason what it is. Before your battle comes your way, you need to always be praying because it lets us know in the first verse of verse 20, it says, The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble, letting you know trouble going to come your way when you live saved. But when trouble come your way, your prayers are stored up. The Lord is here to let you know ain't nothing going to come near you. Ain't no harm going to touch you or nothing because I told you I'm with you. And in verse 9 of this scripture, verse 20, it says, Say, Lord, let the king hear us when we call. You see that? When you call on the Lord, he's going to hear you in your time of trouble because you under his pavilion to let you know I'm here for you. I'm not going to let no hurt, harm, and danger come near my child because I love you, because I care for you, because I'm here for you. And that's what he's here to let us know that he's here with us all the time. Now, when we jump from verse 20 over to verse 21, I mean, Psalms 20 to over to Psalms 21, Psalms 21, it's a praise after the battle. Because, see, you prayed before the battle came and the Lord heard you and he delivered you out of it. Now you praising God to get you through the battle. And now since you praising him, he told you he wouldn't leave you nor forsake you. Now you giving him the glory and honor and praising him for what he done, which is let you know that's why you uh, have faith in him. Because he took taking you from faith to faith, letting you know I told you I ain't going to leave you. I'm here with you to be with you because I'm your rock and I'm your fortress. And all you got to do is trust in me. Trust in the one that woke you up this morning. Trust in the one that died on the cross for you, which is trusting in my son, Jesus Christ. And now since he dwells on the inside of you and abides in you, now I'm able to hear you when you pray to me. See, we... For us, for us, those us that believe in Christ, Psalms 20 can be what applied to our spiritual warfare where we're not to struggle against unseen, but yet very real forces of evil. And we yearn for victory over and deliverance when we, uh, from Satan and his demonic powers that tried to come against us. But it's important when his forces and demonic Influences try to come against us that you continue what to keep the armor of God on you That's the important reason why you got to keep that belt of truth on you Which is what most people don't want the belt of truth allows you to speak the truth Which is speaking God's word each and every time in season and out of season regardless of folks want to hear it or not The sword of the spirit is God's word which is something you're supposed to hide it in your heart That you may not sin against him to where that sword is something that's important to where you grow by You grow when you stay in God's word 
The feed of peace is what the Lord gives you when you stay connected to him. Like I said, feed of peace, not feed of confusion. Confusion comes from the enemy. God is giving you peace because you're making a decision to stay, stay connected to him and he will fight for you. The shield of faith is what he gives you to stand up and defend his word. No matter what folks may say about you, no matter the affliction may come your way, no matter the haters may come your way, no matter the enemies that may come your way, that shield of faith, which is God's protection, is always going to be with you because not only the shield of faith, he gives you the breastplate of righteousness, letting you know you ain't good standing with me when you're standing up for me, when you're living for me. When you proclaiming my word all the time to people, regardless if they want to hear it or not, you do what I tell you to do. Don't worry about likes. Don't worry about being liked by the world because you love by me. You love by the one that died for you. And also he's telling us what the helmet of salvation he going to give to us because the enemy attacks the mind first. So you're going to need your mind guarded with the blood of Jesus, but you're going to need that helmet of salvation over your mind. And the Lord is here to give you all of this that you need when you make a decision, when your time and trouble comes your way to hide under his pavilion. He's here to let you know I'm here for you. I'm not going to leave you nor forsake you. Just make sure that you hold on to me and my unchanging hand. See, if you, uh, you want to get the key point here to understand is what? When we leave Satan's side and we make a decision what? To join the family with God. We become part of his story and God's reputation is on the line through our lives. And God's reputation going to always be up, upheld because he going to make sure we ain't going to fail. Because ain't no failure in God. He going to make sure that nothing's going to happen to us because he's a covenant keeping God. He keeps his word and as long as we living for him, his word is on the inside of us. He going to make sure that we succeed. So the trouble that come your way, it ain't nothing. Just thank the Lord for it. That he going to get you through this trial also when it comes your way. Because he's let you know what he let, the, uh, let us know like he did David in Psalms 31 and 3. What he told you what? Lead me and guide me. You going to need the Lord to lead you and guide you. Through every situation you're going through. And as he leading and guides you, you're going to stay in the lane of victory. You're going to stay in the lane of being prosperous. You're going to stay in the lane of having peace in your mind when you stay connected to him. Because your mind is focused on him and you hide under his pavilion where there's going to be safety at all times for you. There's going to be protection at times always for you because of what he, God is what he's got control of control of our life when we make a decision to give to it to him and tell us to lead tell him to lead tell him to guide us because that's the greatest story that's going to come it's going to be a great story because he's leading our life and it's going to be for his glory the way that he see fit for us not according to what others may feel it's according to what he may feel since we made a decision to say for you i live lord and for you i die lord i'm committed to you because you're the strong tower for me you are my rock you are my fortress. You're my buckler to where I need you in my life. You're the strong tower. You're the hiding place that I hide under when I need safety. That's the reason I'm going to keep running to you for, for, for no matter what's going on in times of trouble, which is going on each and every day in schools. They want to take God out, of, God out of it to where they don't want to allow people to pray. Uh, you got the government going on, things going on left and right in there. They don't want to add God in that nowhere to where the, everything is in trouble. Everyone is in trouble, but you that's under God, under his pavilion, you're not in trouble because he already let you know he's going to protect you. He has his hands over you. His arms of protection are watching over you. His eyes are over the righteous and his ears are open to your prayer. So you can know when you pray. The Lord is going to hear you because his son dwells on the inside of you. And since he's dwells on the inside of you, what you ask for is going to come to pass because you abide in him. And his words abide in you. So what you ask for is going to come to pass because you living for him. And when he puts the pavilion of praise on you, those that don't love being praisers of God, they going to flee from you. Just like the Bible says, the enemy, when the enemy flees from you, those that uh, love to praise God and want that pavilion to praise, they're going to gravitate toward you because they're gravitating toward peace. They're gravitating toward something that's going to be that bring them joy in their life because the joy of the Lord is your strength. 
Your joy ain't in finances. Your joy ain't in your home because all these things can be taken away from you. The joy of the Lord can't be taken from you because the world didn't give it to you. This is a gift that God gives to you when you make a decision to get in his will. And when you get in his will, trouble going to come. But trouble don't last always. And once you under his in his will and under his wings and under that pavilion, protection is going to be in your life. Not only protection. He going to have your, his presence in your life. And not only that, his power going to be in your life because he's with you to let you know, I told you, ain't nothing going to happen to you as long as you stay connected to me. As long as you make a decision to give me your life. And as long as you make a decision to stay under my protection and continue to follow my words and follow me, everything is going to work out for you. So you got to remember in times of trouble. Hide under the Lord's pavilion. Don't hide under no friend's pavilion. Don't hide and call no friend. Call on the name of the Lord who is your strong tower to where you run into him and there's safety under the Lord because he's with you. And he's here to protect you and let you know that he loves you on today because he woke you up this morning to start you on your way. And by doing that, he gave you a purpose to let you know you can make it. And with that being said, my time is up. And so on today... Um, if anyone want to be a blessing to this ministry, you could pull up the Giblify app and type in Cathedral of Faith Flint Church um, and you could be a blessing that way. Or you could pull up the Cash app, which is dollar sign COF Church, and you could be a blessing that way. Also, if anyone wants to reach me, my email is Michael Bray, phone 430 at gmail.com. If anyone wants to join this wonderful church, the phone number is 810 955 Four four nine five, uh, And with that being said, until the next time we meet again, be blessed and be safe.